you're providing your, your breaths. So as that person is doing chest compressions, another responder will show up. Yep. Slide the back plate underneath. Put the Lucas device on. And what's really cool about the Lucas device is it's intuitive, right? So depending on how big the person is, you would, you would fit it to the chest. Um, it will take about three to four compressions to learn the size and depth of the person. And at that point, so it goes through its first cycle, and now it knows it's going to do 110 uh, compressions every minute at an exact depth of 2.1 inches. So everything is perfect. At this point, that frees up another person to start to start and stop. It's 30 compressions, two breaths, it stops, it gives you a warning, you can do your breaths. So you can see um, with an extended response from EMS for 15 or 20 minutes, we would wear out a person after a few minutes where this takes the place of that person. Comes with two batteries. Uh, each battery um, go for 45 minutes. Yep. Yep. So you can you can pause it, swap it out. It remembers for up to a full minute of where it's at, the depth of the person, everything. So you can swap it out and go right back to where you're doing. Uh, the other really good thing about this is uh, it's portable. So when we load the patient into the ambulance, this goes with them and can, can continue the chest compressions as uh, advanced care is provided to the patient. Everything is universal between the stuff that you've donated to Wayland, even though they might have changed versions, all of the battery packs are the same. So we can actually plug it right into a wall if you're going to be there for a long time, or if we know we're going to be there for a while, or if it's a longer transport, we can get a hold of some of the other neighboring departments that have the stuff and interchange everything in the event that you need to. It's really an amazing piece of equipment.